amazing. Target Productions is the show production leg of the stool. that is responsible for the production of uh, several key elements um, in the overall growth of Target Publications. These include the Boat Show, the Mid-Atlantic Sports and Boat Show that we inherited from the Virginia Pilots Advertising Department, new and used auto sales, as well as some in-home, in-house uh, shows that we are uh, creating on our own, uh, most notably the Virginia Racing Expo and the Skirt Women's Show. Currently, there's three Navy League slash Navy Federal Credit Union car sales. They're scheduled for April, July, and then following the last one is in October. The show is pretty substantial. There's uh, usually about 15 to 20 dealers, uh, up to 1,500 vehicles, um, new cars and used, with the stipulation that no vehicle be older than seven years old. Customer uh, really benefits from coming to this sale in a couple ways. Number one, it's a no haggle sale, so each uh, dealer has to, in advance, put a tag on his vehicle, and that tag cannot have uh, any fat built into it uh, because he's competing directly with other dealers who have their best price out there. Uh, Navy Federal is uh, very strict in its adherence to this rule, and they do not accept or they will not finance a tag that's been changed in any way. So they cannot take one tag and mark it down or anything. So right off the bat, the dealers are gonna leave with very strong pricing. The Virginia Racing Expo features simulator, um, we've got we had three different simulators there. We had a tire changing operation where you can play with that. Um, pretend that you're at a NASCAR event and you can practice your tire changing skills. There were a lot of static displays of vehicles from the car of tomorrow, as well as Denny Hamlin's number 11 FedEx car, as well as major participation from the Navy Special Warfare community. Um, we were a sponsor of um, a donation to the Navy Special Warfare Foundation which provides support to the Navy uh, EOD and SEAL organizations. And in doing so, they were able to help us out by bringing some of their assets, including SEAL boats and Humvees and some things like that. Pretty exciting stuff. The Boat Show is an incredible opportunity for the consumer to look at um, a number of different dealers and manufacturers all at one venue. Now they can get up the close and personal and actually uh, look at the hatches and look at the uh, boat and see all the different features in person and it's a chance for them to kind of complement all the work they've already done with the internet by visiting all the different boats and by physically being on, on the decks and looking at them and, and looking at all the different features and making a direct comparison with all of them in one, one location. Target Productions does a great job of planning and implementing this event. Uh, the execution is critical. All the planning in the world means nothing if it's not a good, smooth event for all of our customers. dealers as well as the, the public itself. So we do things such as tweak our floor plan and make sure that the flow of traffic is smooth, um, that the customer can easily see all of the uh, participants of the show as well as all the participants have an good, equal access to the customer. So we did some things this year like change our floor plan so the booths in the lobby are flanked on one side by the box office and on the other side by the entrance. So all the customers buying tickets go through the booths to get to 
the entrance, and that's good for both the customer who can see everything at once instead of having to wander around and look, um, as well as for the booth exhibitors. From a dealer perspective, we worked very hard on the load in and load out. Um, with so many boats going in, about 300 boats going into the hall in just three short days, and having to be precisely uh, placed with respect to both their boundaries as well as each other within the show, uh, it's a lot of hard work and it's a major choreographic operation. I get a lot of personal satisfaction of watching all my hard work turn into an actual um, event. You can go from an empty hall and then three days later, not only is it full, which is satisfying, but it's full of customers who have given me direct feedback that uh, we did a better job than they've ever experienced either with our show or other shows. And that's very personally satisfying.